Got a fox trapped up here. I uh, caught it here on the drainage ditch. Got a cornfield over here on the right, cornfield on the left, and a uh, pond behind me, which is why they're coming down here. There's a farmhouse up there with chickens, and then uh, behind me, I got a pond. So they're down here hunting for food, and uh, picked up a nice fox. So I'll go ahead and uh, dispatch him and uh, show you the remake. All right, here's my remake. You see I got a dirt hole here and uh, my pan is right here. So what I did is I dug a void out underneath the trap and I packed in some of this dry grass here from the set underneath it. And I uh, cut some dry grass and put it on top uh, we're dealing with freezing conditions here today, so I'm just going to use this grass to my advantage, and uh, I haven't had any problems with it clogging the trap up. A lot of people uh, get scared that it's going to clog up the jaws, but I haven't had any problems so far, so I'm just going to keep doing it, and uh, should have another canine here in the next few days. I'm going to make a quick video here how to make a freeze-proof trench set. Uh, I had this here made a few days ago. It uh, got frozen in solid, so I'm gonna go ahead and redo it and uh, show you how I make it here. Like I said, I already had this set up. Um, I got my trench dug out. I have my bait in the back. Um, all I'm gonna do here is dig out my trap bed. And what I'm going to do, instead of putting dirt down, I had peat moss to begin with, but I got some of this uh, grass, it's dead grass, and uh, this will kind of act as the hay set, if you guys ever saw any of those videos. Just break it up, put it in the bottom of the bed here, where our trap spring and uh, jaws are going to be. Place your trap in there. that in there nice and solid and then what we'll do from this point we'll take some more of this break it up and put it over the trap this is definitely a good alternative to wax dirt I know it works pretty well um, it's kind of uh, tedious to make and this is definitely cost-effective Alright, once you get your trap done in there, you want to make sure it's bedded in properly, and it is. And I'll use some of these uh, dirt clods here for stepping sticks, stepping stones, whatever you want to call them here. And yeah, that set's done. Um, it's pretty easy. I'll go ahead and take uh, some more bait here. This little piece of chicken chunk. Fox urine. Put that on there. And this time of year, I love to use any kind of uh, skunk base lure. This canine force works pretty well. You can smell it as soon as you take it out of the jar, and it works pretty good in the cold weather. I'll just smear this up here on the back. So. This set's done, and uh, it should be good. It's going to be uh, freeze-proof, and it'll work in all types of weather. So 
Hope this helps.